So there I was, minding my own business, just having a good old time streaming Third Age Divide and Conquer for my viewers. We were playing as Gondor and we were destroying Mordor. And out of nowhere, Dan from the Hungry Wolves flexes on my viewers and drops a $50 super chat and challenges me to a 2v2 Napoleon battle. But this challenge was so much more than just bragging rights. We were going to fight for charity. So the loser would have to pay $100 to the winner's charity of choice. Now, of course, him making this huge declaration in front of all my viewers, I gladly accepted. Okay, I'm down. I'm down for that. But of course, this is going to be a 2v2. So who am I going to be facing and who will be joining me? Well, Dan selected another member from the Hungry Wolves known as Ragnar. They actually have a channel together called Fish and Chips Industries. They cover a lot of war games like Arma, Napoleon, and so much more. I think a lot of you guys will enjoy it, so links down in the video description to their channel. So there you have it. I'm taking on Fish and Chips Industries. But who's going to join me in this epic endeavor? I could not think of anyone better than the face of War of Rights, General Cody HD. Dude, talk about attention to detail. Oh my god. Oh, oh, the 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 <laughs> General Cody is a YouTuber that covers mostly games involving regiments, muskets, for example, like War of Rights and Napoleon Total War. Definitely check out his channel as well. The link to his YouTube channel is down in the video description as well. So here are the rules of this epic matchup. It's going to be a best out of three. Each team is going to be able to select a map that they want to fight on. Now, if it ends up being a 1-1 where both teams win a match, it will go to the third round, which will be the tiebreaker, and that will be fought on the grassy plains or the grassy flats. Whoever wins that is automatically the champion. Now, in terms of the rules of the actual army comps, like what you can bring, you can pretty much do whatever you want. You're just not allowed to bring fixed artillery, so no rockets, no unicorns. Everything else is fair game, so pretty simple. Now, the way I'm going to cover these battles are going to be very different compared to the typical replay, and I think it's going to be really interesting and really cool, and if you want to see more battles like this in the future, let me know because we had a blast doing this, and we would love to do more charity battles in the future, but the way I'm going to show this battle is three different points of view. I had myself, General Cody, and Ragnar from Fish and Chips to record their own, like record themselves playing the battle live. So what I'm gonna do is edit this video to where you see all points of view during different times of the battle so you can really understand and hear what the players are thinking during different times in the, in the fight. So to avoid confusion, we will have the player's name in the middle top of the screen whenever you're looking at their specific footage. That way you know whose eyes you're looking at the battles from. And you'll have my name in blue, General Cody's in blue because we're on the same team. And Fish and Chips, Ragnar's point of view, he, uh, his name will be in red. You know, it helps you guys understand which uh, POV you are witnessing. And I just think this is going to be a really interesting and really dynamic way to show a battle and the different struggles that each team had to deal with during the fight. So guys, sit back, relax, get some snacks and drinks, and enjoy the fight. Here's the victims today. So you guys... Hey, introducing yourselves first. Yeah. Uh, oh, well. You got me there. <laughs> <laughs> you guys just go ahead. Let's just have your have your moment in the sun. Go ahead and talk about your team. Well, we're gonna be taking the sun. Let's let's just throw that out there. I'm Dan. Yeah. This is Ragnar. That's that's all there is. You're to you're a hungry wolf, right? Are both of you guys hungry? I am. So yeah. I I am a hungry wolf. Um, Apollo doesn't really do tournaments anymore, so we can't get our name out there anymore. <laughs> 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 no, um, no, I get it though. But I mean, uh, <clears throat> yeah. So, hungry wolves is uh five of us in total. Um, but yeah, no. So, um, yeah, you've already covered it. We have come to challenge the into glorious battlefields in Europe. Hell yeah! Loser pays up a hundred dollars. Yes, what a charity. Uh, so I've I've uh, I brought General Cody here. 
Hello. Um, I couldn't think of anyone better. Oh, how sweet of you. Well, I thought of a couple people, but no. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a backup. It's all right. Let's let's talk about the charities that we're we're fighting for. Uh, you guys can go ahead and, and explain the charity that you're uh, raising money for. Yeah, so the charity that we picked uh, is called Save Our Allies. It was founded almost a year ago, um, right at the beginning of the fall of Afghanistan. Um, a friend of mine, Nick Palmashano, uh, was in Texas with who Tim Kennedy, who some people know, Green Beret, UFC fighter, sniper, just actually wrote a New York Times bestseller book as well. Um, and they got reached out to uh, by a few of their friends to um go to afghanistan and help get people out um and not not just like any people but people that had been interpreters people who had worked with the united states for the last you know almost 20 years that the war had been going on uh people who were being you know hunted down by the taliban um whose families were being hunted down and so they went over and they had they had a lot of other friends and connections they have that helped them and they were able to rotate a few different um, C-17s and they got out uh, just shy of 11,000 people. Wow. Um, and they were there for 12 days. Holy So um, now, right now, uh, at, because Afghanistan's kind of done to a point, um, they have actually been in Ukraine uh, since February um, helping get people out um, they actually were the ones that made it on the news. The Fox reporter that was injured in a Russian strike, um, they went in and they found the Fox reporter and actually got and was able were able to extract them. Hmm. Um, so it's something that I'm an Army vet. Um, a lot of friends that served in Afghanistan, and Iraq, and stuff, and it's uh, it's one of those. It, it was very hard to watch um, all of right. that go down, and so this was something that was kind of close to me and, and something I've supported myself. Um, and they're, they're always looking for volunteers as well to help stateside, um, with some of the things that they're doing, um, with resettling some of these people that have sacrificed a lot for the, for our country in the last 20 years. Oh, hell yeah. That's very That's awesome. cool. It sounds new too, which is, it's always cool to kind of help, a uh, a charity, a new one kind of, you know, get some, get a spotlight and kind of yeah. get some, uh, yeah, get out there. But yeah, so we're we're gonna be fighting for St. Jude. Um, it's pretty well known charity. Uh, St. Jude, of course, helps uh, uh, children who are sick and, and dealing with different, you know, uh, diseases like cancer and, and whatnot. Uh, St. Jude, not only you know do they pay for the treatment, but they also pay help the families buy food and and make sure they're they're able to um, get by during these you know a tough time like that. So. Um, I will have links to both charities, guys, if you want to support any of these charities. This is such a cool idea. I really want to do this more in the future. I think it's just a great way of like having a fun banter, you know, competitive match, but you're fighting for a good cause, win or lose. So, so, um, so yeah, uh, check out those charities. I'll have links in the video description. And uh, are you guys ready to lose? <laughs> talking into a mirror again uh, damn it stop with the wittiness <laughs> <laughs> all right so we've decided we've decided on so we picked pyramids as our first map we're doing ultra funds correct correct and we have no rules on factions everybody can play whatever they want uh and then what we're gonna do here soon is go to our separate vcs and we'll get the slaughtering beginning here get the slaughtering going and there was two. Oof. Oof. I'm nervous, bro. Yeah, no, it's gonna be good. They sound like they play a lot. They, yeah. Are, are you, are you gonna race for the hill? I, I am. Okay. So, what if they expect that? Okay. I, what if we just do something completely different? I, I know, cause they, I just feel like they played the map. They know. Yeah. But the hill. And that's the risk, right? Do we rush for the hill or what if we just rush the opposite and storm the hill? I mean, it's uphill for us, you know? Mm -hmm. So I, I, I feel confident just because I'm already closer to it. And also, if we rush in our, or the, the experimental howitzers, I don't think are, are nearly as good as that, like six inch howitzers or whatnot. Mm -hmm. So I 
a late game, late play for us probably wouldn't be the best. And plus, if if we're getting close with Russia, just being able to charge in. That's my take on it, but it, I'm I'm open to whatever. I feel like I can hold my own on that on that hillside. And if they decide not to push, we get the high ground. Because I just want to throw them off, you know. I just want to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, definitely. Um, I'm thinking. Man. I mean, if if they do storm that hill, though, I mean, your Russian cav is going to be extremely helpful. All right, so I'm gonna run. I'm gonna run two units of cav over to your flank, along. Yep along with a unit of skirmishers and some Swiss foot. I mean, I, I can put most of my resources on the, the left. I mean, with it being ultra, I can't fit every unit over there. So I'll, I'll keep some in the center still. Mm -hmm. So it's not like they're going to be able to divide and conquer us. We, we can kite back. You got that nice little side on the backside if need be. We... Yeah, that's true. That's true. But I'm going to, so I have a third, I have a third regiment of, or third squadron of Cav on my side. Mm -hmm. So I'll be able to hold us. Do you want me to go, like, on the hill at all with the infantry, or should I just play open field? I I Keep... think I think open field. Yeah. Um, I mean, I know the the lights aren't as great as the French lights, but um, playing to your play style of just being aggressive, I think that fit best. Yeah, we're gonna play this just how we normally play this, because they have to <clears throat> their howitzers have to come to our side of that hill to be in range if they're bringing how if they're bringing howitzers i would yeah, i assume they are good. because they mentioned them earlier what i'm worried about is if i go like if you're doing well and i get super aggressive and get wiped then you're gonna yeah. get double teamed you know so basically yeah. if you're kicking ass i'm just gonna hang back and keep them busy you know okay. that way or vice versa if i'm doing well and you're struggling just just stay alive keep them busy yeah Bro, this is gonna be this is gonna be interesting. We're either gonna just absolutely smash them, or we're gonna have a fight. Yeah. yeah. Even if we so have a going go down. Even if we just have, even if we have a fight, it's still gonna be good. I'm, I'm I'm I hope I'm not being cocky here, but I'm I'm feeling confident. I think. Okay. Uh, okay. We got some good chemistry. Yeah, yeah. I think we're I think we'll be okay. Here we go, dude. Booyah! <laughs> <laughs> Fuck me. Cody's Cody's the one that's gonna be taking the hill. I'm pretty sure. Okay, ready, go ahead and ready up. And what I'll do, get your troops ready. Okay. To move, and then I'll I'll do a countdown to ready, and then you move. Ready? Got it. All right. <laughs> on three. Okay. One, okay. two, three. Okay, Russia's on my side. Yeah, get him, bro. Blah! Oh, oh my god. What? <laughs> what is? Are we being trolled here? <laughs> No. Okay. Okay. Wait. Is this real life? Spread your cab out again. Yeah. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's all of Apollo. Not all of Apollo's cab, but that's a lot of his cab there. Oh, Apollo. I'm sorry. No, we're getting trolled, dude. They played by the rule. Wait. Was it one already? No, they just said no howitzer, no rockets. Oh, oh my gosh. Okay. All right, all right. That's fine. This actually works because... I, I would hide your cab over on my side or find some hill. Uh, We're just... I'm going to use the dunes to cover my men. Okay. Got it. I right, follow moving far... Our far left of this cab. Yep. I'm trying to get shots on his uh, howitzer. Watch our right. We've got French Dragoons on that hill. We're, they're they're not trying to cross it yet. Mm -hmm. So I'm just letting you know that they're there. You know what? We can storm. They don't have much cavalry. It's a ballsy attempt. I'm not, you know what? You want to storm his artillery? No, no, no. They got tons of skirms in front of that artillery. I can almost guarantee you. Oh, my gosh, dude. I don't know how I feel about this. <laughs> this is... <laughs> This is something else, dude. One, two, three, four units of calf coming off the left. Yeah. I don't know about this, man. A little starstruck right now. Because uh, uh, stamina two, if we're running across the entire map. We're gonna be exhausted. Well, just take yeah. breathers behind the the dunes. Actually, do you want to sit back? Because he's gonna canister you. No, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna fight him directly. 
Okay. Yeah, yeah. This is crazy. See, you see this big dune in front of me? Yeah. I'm holding here like it's a trench. Our right side's pretty much protected from Cav, so I'm actually gonna pull all my units of Cav off to the. Oh uh, well, no, I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna leave the two there. I'm gonna leave the one there. Apollo's Cav is battered. Put that in mind. Yep. I'm running to go put spikes uh, off your left flank. Yep. So what we have to do, I think we gotta hit them on your side. Yep, I agree. And. I'll just keep them busy. So the nice thing is with those lights, it's going to take them a while to reload. So if we can... You got a militia unit, right? Yeah. Okay. Maybe that can soak up a lot of the rounds, and then... Would you be willing to send that militia unit over to my left? Yeah, yeah, I can I can send it to you. I can send it to you. Okay. Yep. Hey, watch watch those. Start hammering that infantry as it's coming in. I'm already on. Okay. He's in the death flight, though. Yep, that's okay. If you, if you need to hold fire for a second... Just a safe shot. But, I mean, bounces are still going to hit that second layer. Just tell me what you need, because you, you got to... I'm just going to keep them busy here. Got it. <laughs> this is crazy. <laughs> yeah, that's that's a nice way to put it. How many losses? Have you taken, you taken, like, no losses? Uh, I've taken a little bit here and there. Nope, he's stopping in the duffel light. Oh my gosh. Artie is gonna be you're, yeah, that Artie's gonna be a goner soon. I don't know what to do. Uh well honestly it's absorbing a lot, so I just took out a gun. Oh uh, follows guns. Okay, good. Does he have oh he's he's moving howitzers up, yep. Oh my god, I've got another gun and now he's wavering. Shaking steady, they're back to steady. I'm bouncing shots into his gen. Uh, Cody only has one howitzer as well. I've got my cav in the tree line here on the far right. Okay. He's only got two cav. I can beat his cav too. Okay. Um, yeah. So I think if we just keep him busy or if I just stay here, keep him busy, I'll push some units over to you to help you out. French are starting to appear. French troops are, uh, there we go. Cool. We'll go to All right. French yeah, we'll troops. French troops are starting to appear on that hill on the right. Yep. Bombarding. I'm sending over. Oh, oh, General oh is my under gosh. <laughs> oh, it's the grand. He thought the grand battery. <laughs> this is ridiculous. This is going to be tough. Three most right batteries are ceasing fire now. Are you going to redeploy them or? Uh, or are you going to, you're, you're just going to hold until he crests that he comes a little bit more. Yeah. yeah I'm just going to hold. Two right batteries are engaging French troops on the hill. Yep. Should we just mass up all on the left side and really hit them hard? Because they, uh, they don't have too many lines on that left. It's yeah. It's going to take a while for them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Already. Yeah, we could do it. And that also attract their attention, get their attention. So I might be able to move my cab on the right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Maybe they'll forget about it. All right. They're going <clears> to, <throat> it looks like Cody's going to try and turn my flank. Uh, you got a lot of Russian Jaegers in the middle. Yeah. But they're in that death light, so. Yeah, I still outrange him with the canister. You're hitting him. And he he's we've got a lot more higher level troops than they do. I'm gonna spread my lines like super thin. Yeah, yeah, that's smart. Just try to mitigate some of these losses. This is <laughs> I was not expecting this. Yeah, I was I'm a l i am I'm a little, uh, I don't know. Was not expecting this. <laughs> but that's all right. That's okay. That's all right. Okay, he's focusing you now. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to rely on my lights. So I'm gonna send back my Hussars to defend in case he cav charges me. Cause what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna push up my lights and try to take out his Artie from a distance. Got it. I don't know, there's just so much of them. I feel like if we make a move, we have to be aggressive as hell. We do, we do. So should I just charge his artillery? 
I, he's gonna canister you. You're not gonna fail. That's well. true. That's true. I, I would say just push to my side. We can overwhelm him easily with numbers, and then it, it's just it's since he's already got his position set up in one area for artillery, just relocating all that's gonna be a pain. And it's gonna force his hand too with you moving over there because his artillery is not gonna be as effective. Russian cav is crossing. Yep. <clears throat> I'm gonna see if he'll if he'll bring some of his. He's he's really well, keeping his bad. skirmishers close enough that I can't I can't run out. It's not worth it for me to run out there and try to get him. I clipped some of Apollo's cav. Do you need a? <clears throat> can you peel one battery and put it almost where my gen is, facing the right flank? Where's your gen? Oh. uh... Mm, maybe I can pull back the, the ground battery. <clears throat> uh, That's on my far right. Get the one next to it. Take the one next to it. Do you want me to send some cab over to you? No, no, no. I'm I'm fine. Okay, you're good. Um, you're good. But I'd say send your your whole army over here. Well, I'm gonna wait because yeah, yeah he can easily turn his guns. I'm just yeah. Don't worry. I'll come with. Uh, I'm not gonna send everything I have, but I'll, I'm gonna send a lot to it. you. Right, ground battery is decent fire now. Yep. If you want to just use it to kind of suppress those Russians in the center. Or even just to hit that hillside. Because at some point, you know he's going to try to move that howitzer up. Oh, he's still walking that howitzer up. So I would say just uh, use, use that ground battery to just pound that right hillside. I'm going to take it. I'm going to start pounding Apollo's lifeguard. Because his howitzer is uh, covered by the building. Okay. I've got... Where do you want my militia? Uh, where my lights are, if you don't mind. Okay. Way at the end there? Hmm. Okay, they're coming. They're a little far behind, so just heads up. Yep, no worries. And we're not taking crazy losses. No, we just... We just gotta figure out a way to close the gap. He is moving his artillery, just a heads up. Okay. Oh, yeah. He's got one moving. Sweet. Let him limber up. I got my mini map largest size, so I can <laughs> see any sudden moves. I move. I threatened with my cab, and it got him to stop with his, it. Stop his light line, his light line of skirmishers, which he only has chasseurs, no voltagers. There's more of them than us, but not. The accuracy is going to help us, I think. Now I'm gonna start shooting Cody's howitzer on that hill. Yep. Oh, here he comes. Mm, 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 mm. He got he got saved, man, for sure. Okay. That howitzer did, yeah. Um, I got my elites back here. You see him, the lifeguard foot. Okay. What we could do is we need to get them into melee. If we can get them into melee. What kind of infantry is this? Young guard. Oh, jeez. Okay, that's no easy task. <laughs> Because as soon as we start pushing, okay, he's moving Artie, so I feel like we need to, we need to go. Okay. Because I don't want him to establish Artie. What do you want? Okay, I'm sending my militia over to you. Yeah, and maybe a couple lines if you don't mind. Yeah, I'm gonna send two more. Okay. All right, I'm almost about to start the engagement. We'll see if he, uh, his guys are in skirmish formation if they crouch after they start shooting. So I know when you put. Um, stakes down, they, they tend to stand up. The first firing is about to start popping off over here on the right, but I'm gonna let them drag it out because the longer they take, that gun's gonna get into position, and you're you're gonna be in a spot that you can shoot over me. All right, first blood. Oh, they missed all those shots. Took absolutely no losses there with that little. Like, damn, dude, those stakes are blocking everything. Wow. Oh. It's all right. That 12 pounder will be able to fire on it pretty soon. Once it's in position, and that 12 pound, <clears throat> that 12 pounder <clears throat> will shoot that howitzer because that howitzer has to be in the open. Right. Oh. 
killed some of Toby's cow. Oh no, really? What? It, it looked like that the howitzer should definitely have lost somebody, but they didn't. Just watch out for his case. Got three cap on your right. Just watch out. For I that. see them. I got spikes all the way around. There's no. There's nowhere he. Could, there's nobody he could charge, without losing an entire unit. All right, I've got my my uh, peasants here behind your. All right. Lights. If you actually can you keep shifting them down on the left for me? Yep. See my two lights on the very far left. Cool. Now I'm gonna be attacking with my elites at the start. Okay. I may redirect more batteries to you because Apollo is moving. I mean, he's moved a few of his units that way. I know. So I'm gonna redirect some more to you. I'm gonna use my two furthest left batteries. Okay. Just let me know once they're clear so I can tighten up that flank. Uh, I think, yeah. Tony's house is out of my reach now. Yeah, but it won't be once that new battery's in position. You're you're in a, you're passing the hill. I wanted you up on the hill, so you could fire over me. I see. I was just thinking of the late again when they get close. Yeah, and I'll fall back to it. That hill will be a good spot to fall back to. Because it negates any of the defilades that are right in front of my troops. Yeah, I mean, look at all those stakes. He's making it so you can't charge. We got to go in with infantry. Yep. All right, I am almost ready. Okay. I'm going to unlimber my artillery, and then I'm going to pound his uh, carabiners. Okay. He's going to feel the wrath. So I've got my elites behind you. And what I'm going to do is just kind of slingshot them into melee. Kind of use your men as cover. Got it. I'm gonna pull my Swiss foot in reserve and move it up by that 12 pounder you, you're repositioning. Ooh, man. I gotta pull my cab back. He just shelled, he just shelled it. Can you give me another like 15 seconds? Okay. Nice, good Good job going after the cab. That's a good target. It's gonna relocate. I'm gonna go after the young guard. Okay, um, so push, uh, push your um, militia up now. Okay, going up now. Yeah. I'm ready. Actually, uh, can you go just a little bit to the right side? So I have a line of fire instead of shooting you guys. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Cool. So, well, never mind. Never mind. I had gens wide open, but I, I see that they're being left wide open, so I'm not going to instigate that battle. I wonder if he's playing his cards right and has them all fire at will. He probably does. Nope. Cool. All right, let's do it. Here comes the rush. Top pound on the hills reloading. Okay. I'm sending Cav to their back lines. Yep. Not to engage anybody, just to be back there. Alright, he's running. Cool. Actually, go ahead and charge his lights. Which one? Uh, the one running away. I'm gonna get the one stationary. Okay, got it. All right. I'm gonna try and get past those stakes. Some of all these really deadly. Cab moving. Cab moving. Got it. Watch your general. Thank you. They're in a charge. I'm early. It it. Negates his howitzer a little bit. And he's shooting into his own troops. Follow moving Hussars from left to right, engaging. Yep. Watch that cab, he just got it. He's I'm going for something. I've got a cab unit. Running, okay. Just kinda watching him. Moving up, moving up. It's about to break his next unit. Forming up the next line. 
Beautiful. Doing good. Doing good. Doing great. Doing great, dude. All right, his calves now looking at me. Oh my gosh, dude. You got it. You got it. <laughs> he just nailed my calf. Child, I know they weren't they were fucking walking instead of running. Alright, Apollo's calf has been routed. Yep. You got one howitzer. Nice. Uh you see you see that unit that's orange? Yeah. In in their center lines? It's like orange okay. orange morale, sorry. He's yeah, running, yeah. he's running. I'm pushing. Good, good, good. Yeah, push. Here comes this. Oh man, he's got me in a horrible position. Oh, his cav? Yeah, because I, I got my cav guarding my arty, but he has a clear line of sight of my cav. I'm weighing my options if I should just let my arty go. Uh, I think yeah, you should. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna keep being aggressive here. There we go. Damn, it sucks to lose an RDPs. That's fine though. Yeah, and we need Cab to take out his RD. I'm gonna call it. His oh he's he just ran a good chunk of his cab. I got the howitzer. Howitzer's gone. Nice. I'm basically you're a meat shield for my elites here. You see how they're just okay. Wait. I got them off fire at will. Oh there's the canister. Oh fudge. Okay, yeah, I don't I don't need to line up with that. Okay. I'm gonna... Am I getting hit hard? No, no, it's not too bad. Just use your lights to pepper down that I'm trying to get There goes my already. Right. That's a hard one. I gotta get my calf. Yeah, watch your general. I'm sending my other cav on the left flank to go mop up uh the rest of their cav out there. They have they have three units, but it's all beat up. Yeah. Yeah, and just focus your lights on the uh, the artillery. As soon as that artillery breaks, we need to push. Oh, oh, he's he's moving his calf. Heads up. Oh, I see it. I see it in the tree line. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Come on, guys. Oh, that canister is disgusting, man. If he charges me. He's gonna lose. I wish I brought more calf. <laughs> so many wishes right now. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're fighting. I should win this. Oh shit, he's capped, dude. He's in my guns. That's some fucking micromanaging. I gotta give him that. Oh, nice job. Nice job. I push up that infantry. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. I got him in square formation. I'm pushing hard. Shit. Watch your gen. I'm charging. Uh, you still got a battery? Yep. Hmm. Oh, he's limbering his. Sweet, 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 sweet. This is good. This is really good. All right, I'm charging in melee. Okay. I'm about to kill his general. Hold fire, uh, guard Zeman. Oh, carefully form square. Yeah, yeah, pulling back. Oh, I couldn't kill his general. I'm gonna go chase down his general. Oh, I'm breaking him. Breaking him. Sweet. He's in square formation. 
Uh, I'm winning. I'm winning the cab battle. Winning the cab battle. Wow, my fucking cab lost that fight too. Off in the way off on the left. How? I don't know. Wow, bro. I didn't think it'd go this way at all. All right, Austal now do you feel bad about pulling Austalitz? Nope. Okay. Uh, yeah, focus your grand battery. All men are running. Yeah, I'm wrapping all the way around. Come on, come on. Charge me, bitch. Charge me. Charge me. Uh, <laughs> oh, there we go, dude. Nice, nice. nice. The melee, dude, that melee, this is perfect, dude. Awesome. Awesome. This is working out perfectly. I did not see you going that way. We've been playing against some scrubs, apparently, bro. <laughs> All my men are breaking. Wow. Alright, I'm gonna I'm gonna push. I'm gonna push from Okay. The hill. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We can converge. Yeah, yeah. If you wanna put some pressure on the front now. Yeah, yeah, I'm going, I'm going. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna hold fire at will. Because you guys are in melee. Yeah, yeah, hold fire. Um, I'm gonna try and get a cheeky charge in here with uh, my gen nah, not my general. He's really running, though. I don't know what to say, dude. It's all right. Oh, you want your cav engagement. You want to bring that unit? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm moving them up. Sweet. Moving them up. I'm gonna wait for his grand battery to shoot, and then I'm gonna actually. I'm charging now. Okay. Oh, I charged oh. at a horrible time. <laughs> I'm going. I'm, I'm going with my infantry. Oh man, that hurt. It's okay. Oh wow, he's. Fuck me. He timed that well. Oh, you skipped the grab battery. Uh, yeah, I've never. Wow. Oh wait, no, he broken. He broke. I've never seen somebody micro cab that well in this game. Oh, dude, you're killing it, bro. You are doing a great job. Oh, oh, uh, what are you doing? <laughs> Why did you stop? <laughs> I think we got it. Okay, that was that could have been really bad. Can I run down the line with uh, my cavalry on his already? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. okay. I'm gonna just get as many of those guys off those guns. Just keep hitting those Russians to the front. <laughs> Couple of guns left. You've got a couple left. My voltage. Oh well, not anymore. A little pull through it. I don't know. I'm not gonna be a crybaby about it though. It's over. But you see how he keeps moving from unit to unit. I mean, I don't know. I feel like with guns, maybe it's all right. My main problem has always been through square formations. It's looking like we're gonna win this. I'm gonna give them so much shit. <laughs> oh, man. Go, go, go. I'm coming in there with the old guard. Now we're, this is like death. Jaws of defeat closing in on them. <laughs> Dude, this is epic. All right, so somebody played it how we've been preaching how to beat it. Yeah. They hit my flank. They hit me with the might of both of their armies. Oh, man. 
Dude, that was perfect. You screened for my melee just perfectly. Awesome, dude. Yeah, you did a hell of a job. No, that was great, man. You that was all you. This win is all you. The maneuvering, dude, top notch. <laughs> I appreciate it. Oh, I get that general. Little trophy prize. Alright. Yeah. Got my ch uh, cab charging in. Just hold fire with your fusiliers okay. of the line. I'm going to charge in with you. What are you guys They're doing? They're all going to charge in with you. All right, yeah, just full charge. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I'm going to give them so much shit for this. Dude, I couldn't believe it. What a... That's a, just having a more diverse, dynamic army is just so much better than... Yeah... If we win Auslitz, general armies, I'd say. On, on, grassy, flatlands. on grassy flatlands? Because, well, these two clearly know how to play against what we've been doing here. Yeah. Cody got most of the, Cody did most of it. Yeah, look <laughs> at that. Look at the kills you got, bro. Yeah. I'm telling you. Team effort, dude. You you, you bluffed so well with that. You kept his already really stationary. I think the biggest mistake they had was not separating their artillery. So yeah, I tell yeah. Them for the next round. But if they separated their artillery, there have been no places to attack from. That's true. That's true. Woo! Wow, wow, we wow. Okay. <laughs> okay. I knew battle. as soon as we started the battle, I go, oh, it's like this, huh? <laughs> <laughs> hey, so to be fair, so we this is how we've been playing with people, and everyone has said that the way we were doing it, it's invincible, and we've been telling them be like, no, it's not. There's a way to do it. There's a way to do it, and y'all did it. So that was <laughs> hats off to you guys, man. No, uh, one, no one has stomped us in a long time. So hey, well, I mean, I I knew I was like as soon as I'm like, oh, I'm. I'm hiding behind the dunes. I'm not moving anywhere. <laughs> and we That's saw. The mistake people always made is that they left the dunes and they're always like, eh, we'll charge you guns as soon as we get close. They panic. Yeah, that's they what we take charge. advantage of is the fact that they panic and they don't know. They don't, they don't know how to actually do anything because they just panic and, and charge and run or, yeah. or quit. Yeah, yeah. I yeah, I mean, our, I guess our idea is we saw that the the side with no artillery is like we just gotta we we have to attack like we have yep. to attack and we have to um get behind the artillery and that was our our mindset and i was I, I was hoping seeing you guys coming up and bringing that one howitzer up i was hoping you guys were gonna like set up and then sit there a little bit let the skirmishers do their thing and that way it bought dan's cannons a couple more minutes to redeploy because i feel like if we'd gotten two more batteries on that side it may have gone a little differently. Yeah, that's what we were saying. If you evenly spread out the artillery between both sides, I don't know if it would have been a lot closer for sure. So that's the problem that I have with Napoleon is that we have to start in our own zones. So even if we should have moved evenly, I mean, I probably could have got there in time, but it's like I have to travel anyway. Mm -hmm. And that way the shock factor is gone. Yeah, yeah that, was, that was a big deal because we knew that if we let you guys set up guns throughout the, the side of the map that we would have had no entry point to, to charge you guys because you would have had canister so yeah that was a uh, yeah that was a hell of a uh, hell of an army call <laughs> I mean, if you watch if you watch our side of the of the fight later on when it's released you'll hear the very moment we thought <laughs> so at the beginning of the skirmishes we're like yeah yeah we got it yeah yeah cool we could just deal with this we'll deal with this and then you just hear me say ah oh, dude the cav I was like, what? And Cody's cab is like trotting along in between the lines. I'm like, oh. hey, and that's, that's another thing. I have never seen anybody be able to micro cab like you did. Oh, dude, Cody was flawless, man. Cody, like he maneuvered perfectly. All right, guys, there you have it. That's going to conclude the first battle in this uh, best out of three. I was going to try to put all the battles in this video, but... We're already at like 40 something minutes, so I'm going to break it up into multiple parts, maybe two parts, maybe three parts. 
uh, just depending on how all the battles, you know, how long they take. Uh, but thank you guys so much for uh, watching this battle. If you enjoyed this type of setup, let me know, and I will do it way more often. Because I, it took forever to edit, but I really enjoyed uh the whole process and i think it looks really cool so and i'll try to improve it as we go and get better at this new way of showing off battles but again let me know down in the comments below i do appreciate your support guys and look out for the next battle it should be coming out very soon thank you for the support guys and i'll see you next time oh and don't forget don't forget support the charities they're linked down to their websites are linked down in the video description. So please, if you can support those charities, uh, we do appreciate it. Thank you guys. And we'll see you in the next battle.